Hey guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this particular tutorial, I'm going to teach you about tool tips, which is a very powerful function or a feature which is available within Power BI. Now, what you can do with tooltip is basically, uh, let's say you have this visual over here. You have sales by state, you have the amount and telling us, you know, California has done 0.15 million of sales, right? Now, let's say if you could hover over California and give more details um, for us to analyze the data, right? Let's look at that. So when you hover over the California, it is now giving us in more information about which are the subcategories which are making which are or which are contributing to these sales in California. Likewise, if I just come down here to uh, Georgia, it's telling us that phones, binders and copiers are the top selling uh, subcategories within uh, Georgia, right? Likewise, over here, I have sales by customer name. So when I hover over this particular name over here, which is Raymond Bunch, right? Uh, we are like we are getting a view of the quantity that he has bought so we so it's right now telling us that he's bought 27 quantities which is worth 14.2k right likewise when i come over here on rick it is telling us that he's bought 51 quantities which is contributing to 6.19k right so i hope you've understood sort of what we can do using tooltips and how powerful this is especially when you play around with it and put in some meaningful uh uh, visualizations into it to hover over and give you the information you can play around and absolutely there is endless things that you can do using your creativity right so I'm going to teach you how to do this so let's get started so for now let me just get rid of these two uh, pages that I have over here which are basically the tool tips right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new page okay and then from my visualization uh, panel over here, I'm going to go to the page size and select this as a tooltip. My page size needs to be tooltip. Okay. Now, let us expand the field section over here and uh, bring in the subcategory column and bring in the sales. Right. Now, you can decide what you want to display. For example, if you just want to display a table, you can certainly do that. Or if you want to display um, a bar chart, you can do that. You, or if you want to display a pie chart or a donut chart, anything that you want, you can do that from here. All right. So let us use the uh, bar chart over here for this particular example. So I have now created a visual that I want to display when I hover over this particular uh, image over here. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to rename this to tooltip. Okay, and call this sales by sub cat. Okay, so I have my tooltip page created. Okay, so once you have created the tooltip tab over here, you need to go to the, you need to select the page and then go to the format tab and under page information, you need to turn on the tooltip option over here. Make sure that this is turned on and then you go back to the page where you want to display the tooltip. So select your visual over here and come to the formatting tab. So basically when you come over here, this tooltip will be off. All right. So you will have to turn this tooltip on and then change the type to report page. And uh, on the page here, you can select the tooltip page that we just created, tooltip sales by subcategory, all right? Now, when you hover over here, you will see that we've started seeing the sales by subcategory, nothing but the tooltip that we created here, okay? So if you just hover over here, you will see that we've started seeing the subcategories under each state over here. Let's say if you make any change, let's say you don't want the uh, bar chart, but you want a, uh, let's say a pie chart. So you can simply change that to a pie chart and come back to your visual over here. And if you hover over this, you will start seeing a pie chart. Any change that you do here to your tooltip, let's say you need a table. Right. And when you go back to your page and hover over here, you will start seeing a table. Right. So I hope uh, this makes sense to you. And likewise, you can create multiple pages. You can create, let's say, another page. Let me just duplicate this and uh, call this as uh, uh, sales 
we'll call this as quantity okay we'll call this as quantity and let us bring in the customer name and uh, the uh, quantity over here okay i'm going to get rid of the subcategory and the uh, sales amount okay and then let us add a bar chart over here and turn on the data labels and let us also change the color to something different okay and uh, now like we did so you need to make sure that you go to the format tab under page information turn tooltip is turned on you can go back to your visual over here select the visual come in here and make sure tooltip is turned on and then you select tooltip quantity right when now when you hover over this you will start seeing the quantity for that particular customer right meanwhile and uh, another cool thing that we ha i have done here on this uh, report is i have added a toggle button there's a different tutorial that i have made which is available on the channel and i will leave a link to that video in the description over here so basically when i toggle here what i'm seeing here is the sales uh, is the quantity amount right and when i again toggle over here i start seeing the sales amount so this is a very important and uh, a nice uh, thing to add to your dashboard to take it to a different level i hope you've liked the video you've enjoyed the video you've learned something new please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials